Good afternoon. And we're going to do our part two. So we're going to can our chicken bone broth. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to strain it and do a cheesecloth into a bowl. And then we'll take it and we'll put it into the canner. Okay, so what I've got is just a mesh strainer with some cheesecloth in it to help strain it. This is already cooled. I've skimmed some of the fat off the top. probably have to do this in two bowls, two batches. Mason jars. I'm going to do pints. Um, sometimes I do quarts, but today we're going to do pints. Got my funnel to put it in there. Pressure canner. And then I have my jar lids warming up over here. And my canner's already getting hot. You need about two inches of water in the bottom. And we're going to put these in the jars, wipe clean, put the lids on, and then we're going to put them in here. It will be for 10 pounds of pressure, 20 minutes for pints, and 25 minutes for quarts. So we're going to, so I've got my bone broth. Fill these up. You do want to leave about a half inch head space on them. I'm not sure why, but it didn't turn out quite as dark as it normally does. But maybe this chicken didn't eat enough good stuff. I don't know. I didn't have any chicken feet to put in it, and that usually makes it a lot darker, a lot nicer. So I'll finish. So my canner's getting hot. My jars, I already warmed them up. Um, I just clean my jars, and actually I'm kind of lazy. I put them in the dishwasher on a rinse cycle, and they get nice and hot. So my jars are already warm. You don't want to use cold jars and you don't want your broth to be cold. Otherwise, when you go to put them in the hot canner, your jars could bust from the drastic temperature change. So I'm going to fill these up again, leaving a half inch headspace. Why there's a cloth there because I'm messy. Make sure those are snug and then you pop them down into your canner. So I need to get moving on these because it's getting plenty hot in there. See if we can get the rest of this into this jar. Perfect. I can get my couple more lids down in here in the hot water. These little magnetic lid lifters make them really nice. You don't have to grab and scald your fingers in the hot water. Do that very gracefully, did I? So I've got nine pints of bone broth in my Presto canner, and 
This one has a pressure gauge. Some of them will have what's called a jiggler. I actually have a smaller one that has a jiggler. Um, there is a weight that goes to it. But I'm not going to put this weight on it until I let off some steam. So the steam's going to escape out of here. I'm going to let that do that for about five minutes. And then I'm going to put the weight on. My pressure safety valve right here should pop up. And my gauge should start rising. I'm going to get it up to 10 pounds of pressure. And I'll be doing that for 20 minutes. Once it gets to the 20 minute mark, I'm going to turn off the heat and leave it alone. I don't want to touch it. I want to wait until my pressure is back down to zero before I even attempt at opening it. And I usually do not get a big hurry. I'm notorious for leaving it for a couple of hours. Um, unless I have a ton of canning to do. Just to be on the safe side. You do not want to accidentally open it when there's still pressure in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then once they've cooled off, we'll take them out, put the date on them, and put them away in the pantry. I want to leave you with one little tidbit is this is all the cooked veggies, boiled down meat and bones left over from the bone broth cooking process. The texture is not very good. Um, so what I actually do with this is I put it in the uh, bowl uh, that goes out to my chickens and they get this for a treat. So we use everything up. That's what we want to do.